Hey, you. Welcome back to our Minecraft survival world. We built this dungeon last episode, and I think it's working pretty well. <laughs> Take a look at this. Gosh, it's loud in here. And all you have to do is just tickle their toes. Yeah, give me all the XP. Anyway, I'm glad you're here because today's episode has one singular goal. We've got to get to a nether fortress. Why, you ask? Well, so that we can get blaze powder and nether wart so that I can make potions and eyes of ender because we've got to take down the ender dragon here super soon and we can't go about doing that without those items. So hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll have a new nether portal built, we'll have conquered the nether, we'll have found a fortress, we'll have gotten the items we need and we won't have died. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. If you're new here, um, I hope you'll subscribe. This series is all about just taking things slow, enjoying the journey, playing Minecraft a little bit slower than those 100 days videos or those super edited challenges that have a mega build done by the end of every episode. We're just enjoying our time here in this world together. Isn't that right? By the way, we have to go by a name tag because we've got to name our dog. Let's take horse horse for this one because I have something I gotta show you guys on the way. There it is, you can see it. Okay, we did our very first live stream the other day and it went so well. Well, okay, it wasn't super productive, but so many people showed up. It was crazy. I was not expecting so many of you guys to show up and we built this bridge across the river here. So now I don't have to make horse horse jump over the water every time. <laughs> we still have to finish connecting the path up to town town, but I don't know, maybe we'll do that on a later stream because I definitely want to stream again. That was a super fun time just hanging out with you guys. But for right now, yes, we've got to buy a name tag from our friend Seb Meta here. <laughs> Thank you, Seb. And of course, Horse Horse wanders off at the first chance he gets. What are you doing over here, bud? Man, every time I approach our house, it just, I'm so happy with it. This is one of my favorite builds I've ever made, and I can't wait to keep adding to it. I hope you guys are excited as I am about this space because it's just, I don't know, it's something that I've always wanted to do. Just make this cozy area that's infinitely expandable. I feel like a lot of people these days for their bases, they just make like a giant village or something like that. And I'm just really enjoying having a Minecraft base. You know, I feel like that's more of an old school thing. People used to just build and build off of one singular structure. Anyway, let's get that name tag all done up and put it on you, Woofus. I thought that name was especially fitting because out at our fishing out here, we have a cat named Rufus. So now he has a brother, Woofus. Rufus and Woofus. And that name suggestion is actually from a couple of you guys in the comments. So thanks, Holo Phantom, Arcus6912, and Scars4452 for the name suggestion. I think it fits perfectly. Now, if you've watched the whole series, you'll know that this is the very first thing we built in this world. A little dirt hut over here on this mound, kind of by our house. Remember our first cow pen? Now we just have these two guys out here at retirement. Maybe leave some name suggestions for those guys in the comments. Anyway, below our dirt hut starter house, we have a little bit of a cave and it's kind of inaccessible, but down here is our first nether portal. And I'm going to be honest with you, this was great for the first couple of episodes, but I kind of want to build something a little bit grander. So while I was thinking how I wanted this nether portal to look, oh, egg, baby, no baby. I had an idea of kind of taking some of the built-in Minecraft lore and turning it into our own. So you know how across the world there's those ruined nether portals that just kind of spawn in with a bunch of netherrack around one? I thought it would be fun to build our own version of that. Maybe something right around here, so close-ish to our base. But then we can add a whole bunch of like fields around it like we're researching it and studying it to figure out how it works. I think that would make a super neat build and also be a little bit cooler than just in the cave under our starter base. But then in the nether, things can get a little bit crazier. I'm thinking about making some sort of like futuristic base in there, some sort of lab or something like that. And I'm thinking we use either concrete or quartz. I can't decide. This one has a little bit more texture, but this one is like pure white, which I really like. I think once we get the overworld portal set up, we can worry about inside. Oh gosh, <laughs> I don't want to do that, whatever that was. <laughs> I got started gathering up all the different materials we would need. I even had to make a trip to the mine, which, oh my gosh, every time I come to this build, I just love it. We should expand this area sometime soon. But I grabbed some obsidian from down in the lava pools and then headed out to the nether because we needed a lot of netherrack if we're going to make it look like a ruined portal. Then I set down all my materials in a couple barrels because it was time to get to work. All right, I think I'm just going to clear all this dirt out of here. Oh, we got some water. We're going to have to cover that up just like that. 
Oops, we missed a block. And then we can start getting our netherrack down. I'm just gonna lay down a ton so I can start to get the feel of what this is gonna look like. And we'll go from there. All right, I think that's a good start. Let's move down to level two. And after a couple of finishing touches, we've got something that looks like the netherrack spreading out into the overworld. Oh, just adding those little tidbits around the edges, I think really brings this together. There's only one problem. I want it to be bigger. So let me just add a whole bunch more and make this a little bit larger scale. Okay, let's see how that looks from the top of our tower. Oh yeah, okay. That's a little bit more ground covered and we have a lot more room in the middle to build. Now we just gotta start building up where the platform is gonna be. Oh, and Bob's here to inspect it for us. Does it pass the code, Bob? We're looking good? <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? That's all right. You are standing like exactly where I'm trying to build those. So I'm gonna need you to leave, please. <laughs> All right, well, Bob's been out here getting in my way. I've been working on what I want the portal structure to look like, and I think I'm getting close. I'm just, mm, it needs a little something. I think something that would help is having the base be just a little bit wider. Yeah, okay, that works so it doesn't seem like the frame is like kind of spilling over the edges. I'm really reluctant to put the obsidian in because if I get it in the wrong spots and decide I want to change it, then I'm going to have to take it all down. But I kind of want to see what it looks like. So let's see. If we go across that many. No, I placed one in the wrong spot. <laughs> Dang it. And now we just got to sit here and wait to mine it. Oh, that actually wasn't that bad at all. Efficiency five for the win. Mm, it's looking a little skinny, but I'm not sure if I actually mind. Let's take a look from further away. Okay, all right, I'm missing a block there, but yeah, I actually like how this is turning out. And this is only part one, just building the actual structure. Then we gotta spice it up with all the details of us researching it with tons of equipment around. All right, um, a small update. <laughs> I accidentally hit the wandering trader while I was trying to remove a block and now the llamas are so mad at me and I really don't want to dispose of this guy but oh my gosh these guys um you might have to avert your eyes for just a second ow let's not speak of this again okay don't get in my way anymore yeah no no more getting in my way that's right walk away <laughs> okay so some things have changed as you can see um, it's been a minute since I recorded that last clip and I got a little bit done. Without the camera on, I just started building and putting things where I thought they should go and here we are now. I'll run you through all the things I did in a second, but I just wanted to talk with you one-on-one -on -one for a second. The last couple of episodes I've put out have taken me a little longer than usual just because I am so eager to make something that's like worth watching if that makes sense i want it to be the most entertaining best video ever better than my previous ones and i think a lot of this like mindset has come from the fact that so many people showed up to watch this series like to be on youtube for only a couple months and to already have this many people watching and subscribed is just like it's mind-boggling to me and i was not expecting it in the least and so now every time i log on to this world that's all about just playing minecraft you know a regular minecraft let's play series i just think about like all the big projects i want to do and the storylines i want to make with gil and the others and it just gets also overwhelming because i want it to be perfect and i know it's not going to be exactly how i have it thought out in my head and i know a lot of you guys are just here to hang out with me and have some fun in a good old-fashioned minecraft world you know so i guess that's something that i would love to learn from you guys if you have thoughts in the comments below what exactly makes you watch my videos why do you come watch my videos i don't have the biggest builds on youtube i don't have the best builds by any means i just have myself and this world that i'm really hoping you're enjoying building up and being able to come alongside me and watch it grow and so coming back to this portal project this is just something that's i don't know I've, I've been logging on and off of this world just trying to find ways to create with it because i want it to be something cool i want it to be something amazing and right now it kind of just looks like i built something that already exists in minecraft and that's about it that's all we've done so i've been trying to think about why i started making these videos in the first place because i wanted to just make something that was just playing minecraft playing a game connecting with the audience not having these super hyper edited mr beast style videos and all of this is just contributing to my writer's block and 
I just need to step back, I think, and just say, hey, I'm playing Minecraft. It doesn't matter who's watching. I hope you watch, but if you don't, that's fine. And <laughs> this is our world that we're just making, you know, slowly piece by piece together and building something like this for an episode is just okay. So with that being said, let me take you through what I've built so far. So I have these platforms up here, kind of like they're like, I don't know, just scaffolding around. We're checking the structural integrity. We're seeing what's up with the portal. I used this trick that I didn't even know you could do where you can put ladders on trap doors and make this super neat, super thin way up here. So I think that's kind of cool. Ow. These pillars were inspired by Tears of the Kingdom. If you go to Kakariko Village, there, there's like ring ruins that crash down from the sky and they're investigating them and built up this like scaffolding around them I think and that's what I decided to do here. I also added some texture to the actual ruined nether portal build, added some cracked stone brick and yeah then we have our research tent set up over here which I used our yellow and white colors that we've been using with all the wool in our world. I don't know why. <laughs> then we've got some barrels for storage, some furnaces, we've got some crafting tables and stuff but I saved some of the details to do with you guys. So first of all we need some light so I think I'm just going to put some lanterns down around Around here maybe I'll put one on this stack of barrels next I want to keep a gold helmet near here so that when we go in this portal we have it readily available we don't have to run up to our workshop every time I also think it would be cool to add some tools to some of these spaces like these are the things that we're using to excavate and it, uh, interact with this structure I guess so let's put a shovel here we'll leave a pickaxe over there and then maybe on this one we'll keep the flint and steel that we actually need to open the portal oops not the barrel the portal hey look at me i'm sleeping in my bed correctly for once <laughs> oh i've also got this like pile of netherrack here where it kind of looks like i guess we've been like digging it up and trying to restore the environment around where the portal is but yeah this is kind of my take on building on the lore of minecraft i think there's a difference between just like building crazy structures in a minecraft world and actually interacting with the world and being a part of it and this is kind of what i wanted this to feel like like we found this structure in the world and now you know we're interacting with it we're making it a part of our story and it's almost time to turn this puppy on and see where it leads us but first we got to make a pit stop back at our base we've really got to get started on making some diamond armor so i think it's finally time we make ourselves a set look we haven't even made any yet we got the ad advancement for it but i don't want this to just be a plain set of diamond armor although maybe that's what we we'll use for right now i want to start making the set of armor that we're going to defeat the ender dragon with so i've got 37 levels let's see what we can get Okay, Aqua Affinity, Respiration, Protection, Unbreaking. I'll take that on a helmet. Protection 3, that is the worst. Let's just unenchant that and try again. Protection 4, not much better, but I'll take it. And we're already out of levels, so I guess we've made a little bit of a dent. But down here in the basement, I've set up some armor stands so that we can keep track of the armor pieces that we're going to use to make our ultimate gear with. I think we can build up a bunch of different enchantments on different pieces of armor and then use them to make the ultimate set for defeating the dragon. But you know what? We are going to be going to the nether now, so I think I'm going to make a second set of diamond armor just for right now, just for our nether adventures. You having fun there? <laughs> what is he doing? After getting my levels back up in our dungeon XP farm, which works so well by the way, I put a couple enchantments on our nether armor. Alright, check us out. We've got a full set of diamond armor made specially for the nether. I have some fire protection on there. I've got some regular protection and a little bit of feather falling. It's not amazing, but it'll do the trick, I think. And then I also made a full set of tools because I don't want to lose our precious cave crusher and um, whatever the other one is. I totally know what my pickaxes are named. <laughs> I'm just blanking on it on this particular moment. But I think we'll deposit this right out in here. We don't need our bed. I'll keep our crafting table. Hmm, maybe we should take some crafting materials along. Do I have some wood I can borrow? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm nervous. I really hope this gives us a good spawn. It's time. Ready? Here we go. Our nether portal is active. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go through and hopefully not die. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're too far from our other portal. In fact, that looks like dirt. Like I've been here before harvesting glowstone. Okay. <laughs> not too bad. We're on the top of a hill. This is actually perfect. Look at this. All we need to do for now is just start blocking off our portal so nothing destroys it oh gosh this is this is precarious i can hear a ghast in my ear right now i really hope it doesn't 
shoot me off. Okay, it's a bit ugly, but it'll do the trick. And trust me, we'll transform this into an awesome nether base pretty soon. But now it's time to do what we came here to do. Finally, we can go find another fortress and get ourselves some blaze rods. This is definitely one of the most dangerous things I've done in this world yet. Oh shoot. Check it out, a crimson forest. It's good to know where this is at least. Looks like we're gonna traverse through it a little bit on my journey to find another fortress. Hey guys, we're chill, right? Seems like it. <laughs> That's good. And another biome discovered. I swear, we're finding everything except the one thing that we need. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yep, literally discovered every biome. Still don't have another fortress. Also, this looks almost completely impossible to get across. Oh no, I'm gonna have to turn around, aren't I? Well, I've been searching around the nether for over an hour now, and I still haven't found a fortress, but I have an idea. We're gonna go back through the portal, grab a saddle, and make a warped fungus on a stick. Then, if we head back to the nether, and head down to the lava lakes, this guy should be able to help us with our journey. Wait, saddle? Okay, how do I get on? Oh no. <laughs> no, he's running away. Come back. Come back. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm riding a strider. I've actually never done this in Minecraft before. Okay, <laughs> let's go find another fortress. Yo, look at these guys. They're stacked on top of each other. You must be cool, buddy. Oh, and we got an achievement. <laughs> let's go. So, I just had something happen to me that has never happened before. Me and my strider buddy here have been out sailing the lava lakes trying to find another fortress and i was just getting so frustrated because we could not find one and eventually i was just so frustrated that i shut the game off i was like i'll come back later let's take a break well <laughs> i logged back on and um maybe you saw it just there but literally right in front of me right in front of my eyes when i had logged off is another fortress look at this <laughs> i can't believe this i don't know how i didn't see it before I guess it just goes to show you that sometimes all you gotta do with a problem is just step away from it, take a break, and come back with some fresh eyes. I can't believe we finally found one. This has taken me so long. Now I gotta figure out how to get up in there. Well, I think I'm gonna leave my strider friend here in this little pit that I made and pillar cross to get up on top of the fortress. All right, I am nervous. It's been a while since I've taken on another fortress. Oh, what was that sound? A terrible fortress. We've done it. Okay, the first thing that I need to do is seal off my entrance. Now nothing can get to me unless I want it to. I hear things. Oh no. What I like to do with these corridors is block them off like this and then I can approach them one by one. Let's start with this way. Oh, this is actually kind of a nice entrance to the fortress. Huh. Well, would you look at that? But that's all there is down this hallway and we need our blaze rods and some nether ward actually. Let's go to the right. Hello? There's a blaze. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our first blaze kill. I also hear... Yes, there's a wither skeleton right there. Oh gosh, and I see nether wart. Okay, what's in the chest? <laughs> That's the lamest chest I've ever seen. I'll drop some stuff off in it that we don't need though. Ooh, another chest. There we go. This one's a little better. Some diamonds and some armor. Nothing we need. Oh, give me a blaze rod. No? Man, how about you? Let's go. We did it. Awesome. Now we just need like a bunch more. <laughs> I'll take the obsidian. And here's the nether wart we need. Let's go. That nether wart room led exactly right into another nether wart room. I'm not complaining. And let's check this chest. More diamonds and another saddle. Let's go. How about this chest? More saddles. We can get a whole army of striders. Another saddle. Honestly, I might just leave these because I don't think we need them. Right now, we need to buy more blazes. And I'm a little worried because I haven't seen a blaze spawner yet. There it is. There is our blaze spawner. Oh, and it's protected too. That's perfect. Well, let me spend a little time here smacking some blazes and I'll meet back up with you afterwards. Okay, I don't know exactly how many we need, but <laughs> I think we're good. My gold helmet is looking a little bit worse for wear. So I think I'm going to check out the rest of the nether fortress, and then we can get going home. Ooh, we got an open air concept over in this area. Nice. There's more down here. 
man, this is a huge fortress. This is kind of pretty. The fortress cutting through this warped forest biome. This has got to be my favorite nether biome, I think. Oh, and there's another blaze spawner, but that one looks like it's going to be a load of trouble. So I'm going to stay away from that. And I did a little more exploring, but I honestly think that's it for the fortress. So now we just got to make it home in one piece. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go home. With the nether fortress successfully conquered, me and our strider buddy headed home. When it was time to part ways, I made sure he made it back into the lava lake with his friends. I think he appreciated it. Oh, home sweet home, finally. Well, we survived the nether, but there's a couple more things I want to do before I end the episode. Starting with checking our mail. What is this? Special delivery for Gil. Uh, what is this package doing here? <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's right next to my house. I thought I told him to cancel the order. Shoot, Gil. <laughs> what do you know about this? A TNT shipment right to our house. I'm confiscating this, buddy. You're not getting this. <laughs> Good thing I saw it before him. Gosh, that could have been bad. We'll just store this up in this chest here for now. Don't let Gil see that. <laughs> okay, well, let's check if there's any mail for me. There is, of course, because it is the question of the day. At TracyBoyTV09 asks, will you make redstone farms eventually, like an iron farm? So that's something I've actually thought about a lot. As we get further and further into the series, we're going to need more and more resources. Now, what I really don't like is having so much of each resource that essentially it defeats the point of actually playing the game. You just have a farm set up for everything. I feel like that leads to burnout. Oops, I just broke our rose bush. Let me just um, replant that. Good as new. You didn't see anything, Adery. <laughs> but I think there are a couple things that we could make small farms for, like sugarcane for rockets, um, an iron farm eventually. I actually, I kind of have a fun idea for an iron farm. I want to tie it into the lore of this world, and I won't give you all the details right now, but it involves a fortress and some pillagers. <laughs> so yeah, I think eventually we'll come around to making a couple of simpler redstone farms, but I'm never going to make anything that just like completely busts the economy and gives me like millions of each item because I just don't think that's fun. I'm also much more of a builder than a redstoner, as you can tell. Well, besides, you know, my ingenious doorbell. <laughs> so now that we have blaze powder, I think it would be fitting to end the episode by throwing our first Eye of Ender and getting a hint at where the stronghold is. But before we do that, let's go thank our members. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just remove that bush completely, horse horse. I love how the berry bushes look, but they're not great for having pets around, unfortunately. Up the hill to the shrine, where our other friends are waiting for us. <laughs> Down into the hall of members. Okay, today we're thanking Brick Vovel, Benja TK, Sia... Clum, Xander Files, Josh the Knight, AJSI, Jom Games, Daskalos, and Jay. Thank you all so much. Thank you for being legends. Thank you for being villagers and of course members. We've got so many people on these walls. I think we already have enough to fill up this section too and more. So wow. <laughs> We've got to start on a project soon that we can put a bunch of you guys in as villagers. But now for the moment that marks the next step in our Let's Play journey, let's hop up on top of the soup here and throw the eye. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, that way, okay. And we got it back, let's go. <laughs> now we know the direction we've gotta to go to find the stronghold. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this episode. I know it's kind of a smaller one, but I hope you enjoyed just hanging out with me regardless. I'll see you in the next one.